Uh, my name is Roger. I'm with Cena Sports. Nice to meet you. Trying to. Hey, man, it's always used to play. Oh, yes, I used to play. Yeah, big guy. Yeah, leading my players uh, to San Francisco and then play with Red Bull this o over the weekend, and they're okay. playing right now. Uh, Are they? Yeah, they're playing in Mapitas right now. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. So basically, uh, I think we're we're going to bring them tomorrow to join your uh, Gold Tour tournament tomorrow. Good. Uh, early morning. Yeah. We'll probably see you at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Looking bright forward. early. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely looking forward to that. And uh, yeah, just why don't you just tell us about the story uh, regarding you know. Uh, Tom's Family Foundation. Yeah. yeah, we would love to definitely know that. Yeah, well, um, it was something when I got established one day, I would love to uh, create a you know, a charitable foundation. A lot of athletes have done it. Mm -hmm. Some very successful, some not so successful, yeah. but that's the story of life. And this is one of our first events. This and uh, the camp we had, Madeira, for the kids, and the one we had in the Bahamas as well. But this and the golf tournament are our first, hopefully, many. And um, we're just trying to raise as much money as we can for the foundation to go to the youth of the Bay Area mm -hmm. to provide them resources to you know reach their goals. And it's the same with you know the Bahamas, my dad's homeland, because there's a, a lot of kids in need in both places, and they're very able and yeah. willing. They just need you know maybe a little push or a platform to get there. And right. if I can be that one to you know supply that with my foundation, that that would be more important than any bucket I would have ever scored or any championship I ever won. It's, it's about helping people. So that's what inspires me. And my, you know, agency has started this foundation. That's terrific. So I think uh, Seth Tarver uh, brought us over to like three locations. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah over in the Bay Area. Um, we went to the uh, Lockerwood School. Yeah, you know, and also. the Kip School. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's exactly. Sweet. I mean, all those like facilities and see those basketball courts and kids were having fun and playing yeah, basketball. Yeah, that makes me happy. Exactly. It makes you very happy. Exactly. Yeah, so in terms of you know, golf, like, especially like, that's another part we we're trying to know you know, yeah. besides playing basketball. So I would say, yeah, just tell us like, why you choose golf like yeah. your sport? Uh, I love golf because it's so different than basketball. Basketball is so fast paced. Yeah. It's a, uh, basketball takes a lot of mental strength, but golf even takes more, I believe, because it's just you versus the course. Yeah, you're playing your opponent, but you're mainly playing the course. And um, just like in golf, you could hit one great shot, but the next two shots would be cool could be terrible yeah. so you got to have that mental fortitude to be focused and and I love how it's outdoors you know I spend 10 months a year in arenas and um, I love it oh, yeah. but it's nice I'm an outdoorsman myself so I just love to get outside and you know smell the trees and the fresh air and it's just a great game you can play with your friends too and um, you know hopefully one I love golf football I love surfing because I'm an ocean. I love the ocean. Yeah. And um, what would be my other one? Soccer. Played a lot of soccer last yeah. year, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I would love to do a, like a charity game, like a charity event with one of those sports. You know, every summer. So this awesome. summer it could be golf. Next summer it could be a charity soccer games. I played Steve Nash's had a hat trick. No big deal. Damn. So uh, <laughs> do one of those charity flag football game. Charity basketball game. Do one, you know. I know Jeremy Lin has one in China, right. which is huge. Yao does as well. Mm -hmm. And I know Anto would love to do that too. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of things on my mind, and it's just the first of many to come. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. Just by the way, Seth was talking about he was trying to beat you like over the soccer. In soccer, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seth is kind of slow footed. So yeah. <laughs> okay. He'll never beat me. Okay. Yeah. yeah awesome. Yeah. Um, so tomorrow, I think we're bringing our four elite athletes from our uh, our Cena Golden League tournament. Okay. Uh, yep. And uh, are you going to like show them some skills and teach them about how to play in golf? Oh man, I'd rather show show them how to shoot a basketball, but uh, <laughs> I'll try. I'm, uh, I'm uh, my golf swing's not bad; it's just a little inconsistent. Got but, um, I'll definitely teach them a few things. My dad taught me the fundamentals of golf when I was a kid. I haven't played as much when I was a kid, but I really started to love it these last few years. Cause it's like such a nice thing to do on your off day. Oh yeah. And um, Andre Iguodala plays a lot, and once he got better to me, you know, I had to get better than him because I was leaps and bounds ahead of him when he first started on the Warriors. Now he's pretty, he's better than me. But um, I'll teach them for sure, man. Golf is a yeah a, a learning man sport, and if you're willing to listen, you can be a good player. Exactly. So I think, you know, one last question, you know, I, th I definitely think that, you know, all the Chinese fans would love to know, you know, compare with, you know, Stan, like, who do you think is a better golfer? Ha! <laughs> Man, oh, God. I'm way better than Steph, you know. 
He's got a scratch. You better got that. I would probably be on the PGA and not. <laughs> he is leaps and bounds better than me. That guy, if he focused and quit basketball, he could probably be on the fringe of the PGA Tour. Right. If he really tried his hardest, I don't know. I don't want to disrespect professional golfers, but Steph could maybe be top three, 500. He's that good. Wow. Um, I'll catch him and I'll say like 15 years. When I retire and I have a lot more time to play, that's when I'll get as good as Steph. So give me like 12 years, man. All right. All right, appreciate it. Thank yeah, you no very problem. much. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Of course.